Thank you very much, um, Cahirlock. And it is quite simply to ask uh, the Minister uh, to support the undergrounding of the north-south interconnector using the technology that is now available and to put a halt uh, to the current plan which would destroy uh, the landscapes of Meath, Cavan and Monaghan if these monstrous pylons were to be constructed across these three counties. Thanks, Kirok. Thank you, uh, Deputy Cassells. And in fairness, I think all of uh, the TDs uh, in that region, I think, have contacted me at this stage uh, in relation to this issue. Um, Airgrid is, is the designated trans transmission system operator and its role includes the operation, maintenance and development of the electricity transmission network in Ireland. Uh, as detailed in the government policy statement on the strategic importance of transmission and other energy infrastructure, the government does not seek to direct Airgrid in the development of energy infrastructure to particular sites or routes or technologies. Airgrid made a formal application uh, for a north-south 200 and, and 400 kV interconnector project to Borpanala on the 9th uh, of June 2015. This is the subject of a statutory independent planning process currently before Borpanala. One part of this process was an oral hearing that concluded last month. As the planning process is still ongoing, it would not be appropriate for me to comment further. Thanks, uh, Minister, I know you uh, are an extremely um, decent man and I am appealing to you on behalf of the people of these counties uh, to become involved in this because it is a massive issue for the counties of Mead, Cavan and Monaghan. It would not only destroy the landscapes of these particular counties, it would destroy people's homes. I sat in the homes of these people across County Mead where these monstrous pylons will be built beside their homes and it will destroy their lives. And it is amazing to think that in 2013, the Airgrid Chairman John O'Connor sat in the Dáil Committee in here and said he wouldn't want to live beside one of these pylons. He wouldn't want to live beside it. But it's good enough for the rest of the people in these particular counties, according to him. You know, and they have, over the last number of years, the North East Pylon Committee, led by Amy Tracy and Porrick O'Reilly, have spearheaded a campaign to stop these. But they're being thwarted by the massive legal guys, the Airgrid. And indeed, I was at the High Court hearing as a couple of months ago, uh, the challenge to this, where your own office from your previous incumbent and uh, Airgrid had massive legal teams to fight against these community groups. Thank you, Deputy. Minister, we need you to actually stand up for the people rather than standing up for Airgrid because they're spending relentless money on PR campaigns you, to try and actually curry public favour uh, with, with people. But they're not. They're destroying people's lives. Thank and you, I am appealing you to get involved Minister in this and put these pylons and put these cables underground because Thank the you, people Deputy. need you to stand up Thank for them. You. One minute to respond. Thank you uh, uh, very much, Deputy. And look, I, I understand the, the frustration that's there uh, in relation to this. But the government does not direct Airgrid as to what mechanism they use. We need an interconnector. And I think people agree that we need an interconnector. I think the debate has been how that connection uh, would take place. And it is not, and the government has not directed uh, Airgrid in any way in relation to this. Look, this is before Board Planala at the moment. There is a project there. Uh, Board Planala need to have weighed up all of the options, have weighed up the arguments on all sides in relation to it. We are going to get a decision from Board Planala uh, in relation to that. There have been quite a number of them, and look, I've read some of these reports as well. Um, you know, there have been a range of reports that, that have been done uh, in relation to, to, to undergrounding. Um, but the reality is that the North-South transmission line project is required to ensure a security supply of electricity to Northern Ireland. Thank you, the existing 225 kV uh, double circuit overhead between Louth uh, and Armagh uh, just is not sufficient okay, to meet you, the needs no, that are there. Further supplementary? No, you just just on a point, no, you referred to the Umbor Panala hearing, and I was there and I gave evidence at that particular hearing um, in Monaghan as well. Uh, they came in on I don't know how many occasions during the hearing air grid and changed aspects of the application during the hearing. They came in with images that would bore no resemblance of what the application was as well. 
These guys are ruthless in the pursuit of this. They do not care about the people. This chamber is here to care about the people. The government can become involved in this. They most certainly can. And the previous two incumbents of this office didn't even want to hear from the people's side. Didn't even want to hear. So I'm appealing to you, Minister. Please don't read out just the, the stuff that the department are preparing for you. Please do listen to the voices. Thank you, Deputy. This can be actually stopped before the September uh, ruling by Mbor Panola. No, and we need to see an interjection by government in that respect. Deputy, thank you. You have a minute, Minister. Look, first of all, can I say that I have been listening to members of this House. I have listened to quite a number of members from uh, the areas concerned, uh, and all of them, every single one of them, have expressed their concerns to me uh, in relation to this issue. Um, and I think, you know, not one person that I've come across yet says that we don't need the interconnector, and that is needed because if that were to line were to go down. There simply wouldn't be enough electricity uh, reaching the northeast of the island uh, to keep the lights on. So, like, we have a single electricity market. Uh, we need a single electricity market. It is helping to drive down uh, the cost of electricity for every single person across this country. I am, look, I, I hear what you're saying. I've heard and listened to what uh, some of my uh, other colleagues inside here uh, in the House have been saying. I can understand uh, the frustration that's there, but there is a statutory process thank ongoing you, uh, at the moment. Thank you. Okay. And thank you.